Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Uranium! We are still deep inside the labyrinth and we've got like the split path thing going on. We can go up, right, or down. I kind of looked up last time a little bit and it looked like there was a big old path over that way. So I think I'm going to go down and right first and see if those paths lead to some more treasure or something like that. So I do want to try to get all the treasure and it looks like there is a ball down here and also a gosh dang Sableye, which I've already caught from a different cave. But if you wanted one on your team and you wanted to catch one a little bit higher level, I guess this is the spot you could do that as well but yes over here we do have a full restore awesome always good to have some of those let's keep going looks like we got a trainer as well so let's go battle him i and my pokemon punch rocks for training that sounds terrible for your hands but all right she didn't say anything about actually breaking the rocks when she punches them she just said she punches them which just doesn't seem like a great idea. She's got a Chupacho out here. Not a big fan of fighting these guys because they're just not very good experience. But she does have two other Pokemon as well. Let's go for Flamethrower. Hopefully one shot it. He's going to go for the, the Mach Punch right there. Which will uh, go first because it's like a quick attack. Doesn't do much damage. Hopefully we'll get that one shot. And we do. That guy is a little bit on the weak side. The only thing he's got going for him is the fact that he gets to go first. But they do have a Primate coming out. Which I'm actually a bit surprised by, considering we've already seen uh, Primeape's evolved form a long time ago, actually. So why the crud is this person using the unevolved form at level 40? Who knows? But we're going to go for the Skyfall right here and probably get that one shot. Good old Primeape. I love that guy. Such a goofball, but I don't know. He's cool. Here we go. Got him. And we might get level 43 off this one as well. And we do. Looking great, Dunsparce. Trying to learn Dragon Breath. Let's check that crud out and see if it's better than Dragon Claw for this guy. Uh, let's see. This one's only 60 power, which is not that great, but it is a special. I don't know if that's something that I want. I guess I'll go ahead and... Oh, man, but Coil is so good. It raises attack, defense, and accuracy, so it's really great. I don't know, guys. I think I'm going to pass on the Dragon Breath because I can't get rid of strength, can I? Uh, yeah, I can't be forgotten, so I, I guess I'm going to go ahead and skip on Dragon Breath. I don't know what my special attack is, so maybe that was a bad decision, but oh well. Let's go over to Dexter. They've got a Hero Loon, and we've seen that Dexter can one-shot Hero Loons in the past. So I'm guessing they're going to do the same for this one. We'll just go drop down that Surf, hopefully get that one-shot. And Dexter is probably the member of my team that needs the experience the most. I think Trevor, isn't Trevor only 41 as well? So we got to get him up as well, but I want to try to get everyone up to 45 at this point. I think Poopin is all the way up to 46, so they're kind of like leading the pack right now. Back to the punching bag. Yeah, those rocks are just too tough for you, dude. And it looks like... Wow, this brings us to some kind of path right here. I guess we'll check it out. I don't know if this is just backtracking. I might have gone in a big circle and gone back to a place I've already been. It looks like that's the case. I think I've already been here. I don't know why I didn't go down to begin with. So I guess I'm just going to go to the right and go back to meet the main path. I've already battled that karate guy. And I believe the path is to the top right here. Oh, it looks like you can catch this little dweeb up in here. So if you wanted this guy, I mean, I'm going to catch him just because I'm trying to complete the Pokedex and all that. But... I don't exactly want this guy. He seems kind of weak, but he might have a really good evolved form. Who knows? We've only got five Ultra Balls. I'm going to try throwing it directly. It's probably not going to work, but I'm kind of in that old situation where it's like, what the crud do I do to not kill him? Maybe we'll get lucky because he's a weak Pokemon. No, not quite. It always does the three shakes and trolls me. He's going to go for the agility, so he'll probably go first here. I guess I can just use like an extreme speed or something and do a little bit of damage that way. I don't think extreme speed will kill. Come on. It's just, there's, there's no way. If he dies to an extreme speed, that's crazy. Okay, no, it didn't kill him. He goes for the agility again, which does not matter because we're just going to be going for the uh, Ultra Ball here. So hopefully that little bit of extra damage is enough. It did more than half, so we can't do a second one or we'll kill him. So we'll just hopefully get him this time. I am holding down B right now. Come on. And we got him. All right, second time to the charm, I guess. This is the Bloodsucker Pokemon. Is this guy a vampire? What the heck? It comes out at night to suck the blood from sleeping prey. Its needles contain a numbing toxin that can inca incapacitate an enemy in minutes. Wow, I did not know that was a vampire. I thought it was like a luchador or some crud. Kind of like a halucha or something. I don't know. But I guess that's that. Let's go ahead and move back to this path. So we've seen the bottom path. Let's go check out the right path and... See if it is the right path. I'm guessing it will be because we saw the big path up top. Yes, indeed, this is the treasure path. What? Oh, it might be another link guide. It is. Okay. I'm not going to bother trying to catch this thing because I've already got one. So that was kind of a waste of time. I mean, it, it was good to explore just to see what's down here, but no items, just the troll, just another link guide right there. So, oh, well, let's go up top now. And I believe we had to surf up here or something. Oh, wait, I don't think I even went all the way up here. I think we still have to battle that guy. Bring it on, you crud. Oh, and there's an item over there as well. Beware, danger lies ahead. 
And I guess... I, I've still got Bulbasaur in front. I guess it's fine for now. He's going to send out an Espeon, which I would love to have Mareep for, although Mareep doesn't really need the experience right now. Bulbasaur up to 43. Like I said, I want to get everyone up to 45. So let's go for that Flamethrower. Maybe Extreme Speed would be better. I'm not sure. I think Espeon's got a pretty good special defense. But it's still one-shots it, so never mind. There you go. We've got a pretty good chunk of experience. And now we've got an Umbreon coming out, which, once again, Mareep would be fantastic against. But they're already level 45. So I guess we're going to leave Bulbasaur in and just go for another Flamethrower. Might not be the best plan, but, well, I just, I want to get the experience on him, so I think it'll be okay. Hopefully we'll get that one shot. And we did not even come close. Umbreon is a lot more tanky than Espeon. I think Espeon's a little bit more on the offensive side. I think, doesn't Espeon have like a crazy good special attack? I think that's what they've got going for them. And back in the day, I know Generation 1 did not have a special defense and a special attack. It was just called Special, which covered both, which made Alakazam ridiculous. I don't know. Did they add special defense and special attack in Gen 2, or was that Gen 3? Because if it was Gen 2, then I bet you Espeon was crazy, but I don't know if it was. But there we got another Linkite. I guess we're going to go... Wait, 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 wait. We're not going to go surfing yet. I see an item up this way, so let's go check that out first. And we've got an Expert Belt. What does that do? Let me go check it out real quick. Expert Belt. An item to be held by a Pokemon is a well-worn belt that boosts the power of super effective moves. So I guess if you're super effective, you'll do even more damage. I feel like that's one of those items, though, where it's like, you're probably already going to win if you're super effective. So it's just kind of a win more type thing. You talk about that a lot in, like, competitive stuff. It's like, it's just a win more type of thing. If you're, if you're able to use it effectively, you're probably already winning. So what's the point? Now, that might not totally be the case. There might be a situation where you're super effective on a guy, but you'll still not quite kill him. So that could happen. Just another Linkite. But yeah, that could still happen. But the thing is... Would it do more than just having the type boosting uh, item to begin with? Probably not. But anyways, we've got another dive spot right here, but I don't have dive yet. Whoop, what is that? Oh gosh dang it, Amalia. Do you remember my Titan Ice? My Titan Ice is awesome. It's so cool. Why'd you just call me to brag about your Pokemon? What the heck? I'd even say my Titan Ice is in the top percentage of Titan Ices. Really? They called to tell me some gosh dang memes. It's so silly, because I've got all these people that add me on their phone or whatever, or the Pokebot, whatever it's called, and I've gotten phone calls throughout this playthrough, but I've never gone back and actually fought anyone, so I'm, I guess, not exactly the best friend in that regard. But we up to Route 15, we've got another spot to surf on, so I guess we're finally out of the Labyrinth. I don't know if I missed any items in there. We might have, or it might have just been more Link Guide trolls, or maybe we got everything, who knows? We've got, like... Fisherman guy chilling in the water. Uh, well, I don't exactly want to have Bulbasaur up front for this, but I don't want Poopin to get all the experience either, so I guess we're gonna switch Trevor up the front and have them battle this guy. So bring it on, Crit. Or maybe it's just gonna be a guy that gives us a super rod. Nope. I've been fishing a fishing all day, but all I seem to catch are old boots. I hear that a lot, like catching an old boot or whatnot. I've never, I've gone fishing quite a few times, but I've never caught anything except for actual fish, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just lucky, but I've never caught like an old tire or an old boot or a can, anything like that. We've got this brain ore right here. I guess we're going to go ahead and use Iron Head. I don't know what would be better. Is Iron Head even good against water? Uh, no, it's not. Whoops, my bad. Okay, we're going to use, we're going to use, gosh dang, Dragon Claw. And this guy, what? How does he have Psychic? He doesn't learn that until level 45. Maybe he can learn it from a TM or something like that, but gosh dang, my Dexter doesn't have Psychic yet. Although mine's only level 41 still. We're going to go for Dragon Claw here. And there we go, that one's gonna do a bit more. Probably still not gonna take him out with one more of those things. Unfortunately, I was dumb and used gosh dang Iron Head. And Trevor might not actually be able to beat this guy, which is gonna be very sad if we have to swap him, but... Oh well, let's go ahead and smack him with one more, uh, one more Dragon Claw. Maybe we'll get a critical. And we do not. He goes for the Psychic. If I live, I can attack. Uh, okay, we live with 2 HP, awesome! So I can still go for the attack right here, because Trevor is super fast and, well, Brainor is pretty slow. So let's go for a third Dragon Claw. I think that was my third one. And take this guy down. I think if I did Dragon Claw to begin with instead of Iron Head, we probably would have killed him one turn sooner. But oh well, we still made it. And we're still boosting speed, but I'm going to have to swap out after this one. So let's check out what they've got coming out right here. They've got a Blubber Vlog. I guess it's a pretty good battle for Dexter, so let's go swap over to him. Get that Psychic Attack on the Poison uh, type right here. And Dexter should also level up after this one, which is great. Gosh dang, blah, blah, blah. bring it on you, crud. Let's go for Psybeam. It's got Sludge. That's gonna hurt. Actually, will that hurt a lot? I don't even know. Uh, let's see. No, not too bad. Let's see how our Psybeam does. I don't think it'll one-shot even though it's super effective. 
Doesn't even do half, actually. Gosh dang, Dex needs to step his game up, dude. I guess I can't blame him for having Psybeam. I don't know why they make you wait to level 45 to get a better psychic attack. It's a little bit crazy. And considering this guy is faster, I might need to swap, actually. I probably will die. I'm gonna risk it. I'm probably going to die here, but oh well. It's it's fine. Dexter softened it up. I can have Trevor go finish it off, I guess. Oh well. Trevor can finish this guy off with Iron Head. That's fine. Cause I'll go first and Iron Head is really good. Alright, just go wreck him, dude. Knock this guy down. Wait. I'm an idiot! Crud! Why did I think Steel was good against gosh dang Okay. I thought Steel was good against poison, but I got it backwards. Steel is actually bad against poison. Okay, how about we get some experience for Dunspar, so you could use it, I guess. Wait a second, I think it's actually... I think my Steel type was actually weak because he was water, not because he was poison. Which I made the same mistake against the Brainer to begin with. I don't know how I make the same mistake of using a Steel type on water twice in the same battle. Just completely ignore that, but poison is bad against Steel. I do remember that much, at least. Anyways, Dunspar's got him down a huge chunk of experience, and out comes Corsa Reef. I mean, like I said a million times, I don't want to level up Poopin anymore, really, but... Well, this is just too good of a battle to pass up, so we're gonna send out Poopin. And I guess we could do a Giga Drain, take the chance to heal up, because we'll probably one-shot him anyways. Although he is level 42, maybe he'll survive, but that's not a big deal. Let's go for the Giga Drain, four times super effective up on this crud. And we got him, probably a full heal after uh, uh, that one right there. And it is awesome. Aw, oh, the line broke. What, were you trying to like fish for compliments or something? Because you're not getting any. Let's go back inside the water. And I guess we've got another swimmer up here. Man, the guys that I want to level up have kind of died, which is a bit of a problem, but oh well, we'll just keep going. Let's go battle this guy. If you've got the HM dive, you can explore the sea floor. I, I guess I'll do that. It's not Sun Flora, it's, the, it's not Sea Flora either. We've got Swimmer Paul with a Glavin. Oh, this thing, right, the Glavin Ugg. I guess we're gonna, just gonna send out Poopin. I know this guy's got ice attacks, so we're gonna hopefully one-shot him and just get him out of here before he does that to me, because that'll hurt a lot if he does that. But I think Energy Ball can probably take him down. It does! Poopin! Gosh dang, it's just pooping all over these guys. We might level up after this one as well. We've got Gyarados coming out. Now we're gonna stay in, dude. We've got Thunderbolt, so we'll just wreck this guy. You know what, guys? I guess we'll just let Poopin be awesome, because he's just good for the area, you know? I'm not going to force myself to use things that are not good for the battles just for the sake of experience. I've done that in the past, it never goes well. We'll just use who's good for the battle, and in this case, it's Poopin, and he's going to level up. He's just going to be so overleveled, which is fine, I guess. There we go, level 47 on this guy. And let's see what he's got next. He's got a Sabalu, which is, I think, that slug thing. Uh, I guess we're just going to stay in once again, and we'll just hit him with the energy ball. It just wrecks everything, dude. Energy Ball is so good. I think it's like 90 base attack, 100 accuracy. It's basically like a Thunderbolt or a Flamethrower, but Grass type. It's actually got less PP, I think, but that's fine. We've got a Tuberil coming out. We know how to deal with Tuberil. We've dealt with this thing from the Hokage. We're just gonna hit him with the Energy Ball. Probably one-shot him again. So easy. Just like that. Not even a critical, dude. We don't even need criticals on these guys. And there you, there you go, almost level 38, or 48 even, sink or swim. I guess we're just gonna keep swimming. Just keep swimming. We've got a little island up there to land on, but I want to battle this guy! Battle me, you crud! Sometimes it's a little bit tough to tell where we actually are, because the surfing animation looks a little bit strange. But we've got Swimmer George sending out another tube reel. This one is level uh, 43. But I one-shot the 42, I'll probably one-shot the 43 as well. He does have one other Pokemon, but I just, I can't think of any water Pokemon that Poopin would not like to battle. Maybe like a water poison, but then I'll just use Thunderbolt. I don't know, I think Poopin's good to go here. There we go, level 48, gosh dang. He's got a Vaporeon, there you go. I guess I'll go ahead and try to conserve my Energy Ball a little bit. We'll go for Thunderbolt. Although I don't have the Electric Boosting item on, I've got the Grass Boosting. But, oh my gosh, we don't one-shot it. That's fine, he's going for acid armor, so we're fine. I would have one-shot it with energy ball because of the miracle seed, but oh well. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to kill it, because I know Vaporeon's pretty tanky. Uh, they've got pretty good special defense, I think. So, well, it's fine. He went for acid armor, so it doesn't really matter. Glub! Well, we got that guy taken care of. Let's go check out this island, see if there's any good items to find or anything. There's a bench! Yo, is there a heal spot? I really need Trevor and Bulbasaur back. Wait, no, is it Dexter? Dexter, not Bulbasaur. But let's go back inside. Let's go heal up. I'm guessing it's a heal point. It looks like it. Yep, my wife is always kind to passing traders. She bakes the best cookies, too. Here, take one for the road. We get a lava cookie. Heck yeah. 
Let's go talk to this guy over here, or this old lady. You're poor, you poor trainer, you must be tired from all that adventuring. Take a rest here for as long as you'd like. They've only got three beds, and we've got six Pokemon plus me, two of which were dead, so it's gonna be a very awkward sleeping situation. But we're healed back up, and we've got Trevor up front still, so we're gonna actually swap him out, because he's really bad against water. But we can at least try to level up, I guess, Dexter, because he can do some psychic stuff, I guess. Uh, man, you know what? I'm gonna save those guys for a better situation. Let's level up Dunsparce for now. I do want to get everyone to 45, like I said. So Dunsparce is in the crowd that still needs to get to 45, even though he's not quite as low as Trevor and Dexter. I'm still gonna level him up because he's not terrible for this area like those two are. I don't exactly know where we're going. I guess we're going to the city. I see a bald is chilling in the water right there. Come here, Mr. Item. I'm going to get you. I can't fit through the gap. I just realized Dunsparce, or Dunserif I guess, has a really crazy mustache thing. We've got TM04 with Calm Mind. I... I don't know. I think Calm Mind is one of those stat boosting moves. Which I don't use that often. I find like, most of the time whenever I try to stat boost, even if it's like Shift Gear which is an amazing move, with two speed boosts and an attack boost built in, even then, I just don't really find it that useful because Trevor's already faster and his attack probably won't one-shot anyways. It'll probably just do like a little bit more damage, which is not enough to really help out. So I, I don't know. And it's kind of like that for a bunch of different stat moves. It's like they just usually, unless you use a whole bunch of them, it's not really enough to really matter. Here we've got TM24 with Thunderbolt, which is actually kind of awesome, but we've already got Thunderbolt. This guy comes from a big family of fishermen. Fishing is his legacy. Well... I guess you can use all of your Pokemon that you fished up in this battle, but we're still gonna wreck you. What the? What? Whoa, a dual battle against one guy? What the crud is this? Well, I guess we've got Dunsparce and Poopin up front here. Let's go for that Skyfall on this guy, and I think we'll do Energy Ball on the Buizel and see if we can wreck these nerds. He's gonna go for a Whirlpool, which I don't think is gonna do too much right here. Yeah, it's not gonna be great on Dunsparce because he's got the Dragon type right there. And I don't think it would have been good on Poopinant either because, well, he's got Cash Dangle Electric and Grass. So we're going to one-shot the Floatzel right here, but he's still got Ludicolo, which is going to be a little bit trickier because he's going to be resistant to both Grass and Electric, or he's going to be neutral to both of them, I guess. Going to go for some Rain stuff right here. No, wait, that was Skyfall. Never mind. We got almost a one-shot, but not quite. Oh, but we do get the Paralysis. Awesome. He's going to go for Nature Power. Turns into a Tri-Attack. And it doesn't matter who uses that on. I don't think it's going to matter too much right here. Let's check it out. And... Does a little chunk. Oh, but he does get the burn. I think I've got a burn heal, so I'll be fine. But, yeah, that's pretty rough. I'm just going to go for another Skyfall. And then we'll go for another Thunderbolt. Or Energy Ball. Whatever it is. Even though it's going to be neutral, it doesn't really matter too much. Because he's dead anyways. And we get the critical. Why do I always get the criticals when they're going to die anyways? It happens all the time. But I gotta check. I don't actually know. Do uh, Does burn stay after battle? I think it does. And it does. Okay, so let me go heal it up. I'm pretty sure I've got burn heals. I think I've got all kinds of stuff. We've got just one burn heal, actually. I should probably buy some more of those. I do have full restores, but that's kind of a waste just for that. I've probably got some full heals, which might be a better option. But it looks like we've got another trainer off to the right. Let me check the left real quick. Looks like there's nothing there, so let's keep going. Lots of trainers in this area, which is fine. It's my life goals, uh, life goal to be on the cover of Pokemon Illustrated Magazine. Wow. All right, bring it on you, crowd. We've got Swimmer Lorraine bringing out a Gyarados right here. I guess we've got our Dragon Flying versus the Water Flying right here. And we'll have to see how we do. We're kind of weak right now, but I've got lots of Hyper Potions. If I need to use it, I'll use it. I don't like having to use items outside of or inside battles, but... If we gotta, we gotta. I'm gonna go for the Skyfall right here. Actually, does Flying resist itself? I can't remember that, actually. And no, it doesn't. Okay, we're good. So it does just about half. I don't know. Is that gonna one-shot? It might not. But thankfully, we're resistant to his Water type right there. This might not kill him. Or not one-shot. But it's not. might not two-shot him. Hopefully, he doesn't live with, like, one HP. That would drive me crazy. And okay, we got him. Sick. And that should get us up to 44. Yeah, definitely a big chunk of experience off that guy. And out comes Brainor. Oh boy. We're just going to use Mareep. Keep things nice and simple. I know Mareep is already 45, but I just think Dexter is not going to be able to do the mirror match. I don't think Bulbasaur is a great choice. And I don't think Trevor's a great choice. And, well, Dunsparce is already damaged. We're going to go for the Faint Attack right here. We're actually faster. Brainor is so slow that even a Mareep is faster. And we almost one-shot him. Not quite. He's going to go for the Aqua Tail. That shouldn't do too much damage. And it does a little chunk, but nothing I'm super worried about. So there we go. We'll take that guy down. Is that their last Pokemon? I think they might have one more. That might be it. I don't know. 
Let's check it out. Did we forget that little jingle? Nope, they still got a spawnery coming out, which I guess is going to be a battle for... Gosh, bug type? Oh, jeez. Uh, I guess we're going to go for pooping and just hope we one-shot it. I'll go for Thunderbolt, hopefully one-shot it so he doesn't get a bug attack off on me or anything like that. I think we'll be fine. So bring on the spawnery. I might have had a better choice. Oh, wow, they still got a fourth Pokemon in reserve. There's a lot of Pokemon on these different trainers. And I'm super glad to outlevel them because we're starting to get everyone. Even when they've got four Pokemon, they're all up into the 40s at this point. So that would just be brutal if I didn't do that training before. He's got a Psydine coming out, which is a Steel and Water type, which I don't really know how to deal with very well. I guess we'll just go with Poopin. We'll just leave Poopin in right now. And I guess we'll go for the Thunderbolts. Just keep things nice and simple. I say that a lot lately, keep things nice and simple, but that's just kind of my mentality lately, you know? Just keep things straightforward, don't try to overcomplicate things, which I tend to do a lot. And get up to level 49 with Poopin. Why not? And there we go, Swimmer Lorraine is defeated. Oh, that's not cool. Is she calling my Pokemon lame, dude? Yeah, let's go check out these balls. We've got another Ultra Ball. I could actually use those. I've been kind of running low on those guys. We've got another trainer up there. A bunch of different paths we could check out here as well. Let's see, what is down below? Okay, we've got another trainer down here with an item. Yeah, let's go see what he's got. I kind of wanted to get the item first, but oh well. Family duty on her fishing. I don't know if he's putting his priorities in order right there, but there you go. I guess family is very important. We've got Floatzel and Sponery once again doing the whole dual battle thing up front. And I forgot to swap out Dunsparce, but I guess it's actually not a bad thing because Dunsparce is actually going to be a pretty good battle against Sponery right here. So we'll go for that and we'll go for the... I guess we'll just go for the energy ball over on Floatzel here. And hopefully we go first, hopefully we go before Sponery. I don't want him to get a bug attack on Poopin. Although I don't suspect that he'll actually be able to one-shot me, so... I can just Giga Drain to heal back up afterwards if we need to. But let's check it out. Yes, we do go first, get that Skyfall. I forgot about this, guys. I kind of keep forgetting that Dunsparce is not a normal type anymore. He's a flying dragon type. So he's actually a good answer to bug type now for me, which is great. So there we go, we got that guy taken down. Did he have more in the back? Uh, he does. He's got a Blubberog, and what else does he have here? He's got a Kokanzer. Okay. I think that Dunsparce is once again going to be good against this guy, and we can just use Poopin on this guy. I think I want to use Thunderbolt on him. I can't remember if Poison resists Grass-type, but it's not going to resist Thunderbolt, which is fantastic. And we got him. Critical hit as well. Not sure if we need that critical, but, well, better safe than sorry. So there we go, we got some more experience, getting so close to 45 with Dunsparce, I bet. Gonna go for the sky pull in the sky. I don't know if we can one-shot a co-cancer, that might be tough. No, not quite, alright. Oh, we got the paralysis, come on, get stuck! No, he's gonna go for the leaf blade, that's not really gonna hurt too bad though. And he does it on pooping as well for some reason. Alrighty, let's go for another Skyfall, and we'll go for a, uh, I guess a Giga Drain. He's gonna be neutral, he's part ground, so it's not gonna resist it or anything like that. So we'll get a little bit of a heal right there, nothing too great, but it'll do. We could go back to that little house and heal if we wanted to, but I'm not super worried about that, crud. So there we go, I've been beaten honorably! Was that honorably? Uh, we've got Eviolite, what is that? A mysterious evolutionary lump. When held, it raises the defense and special of defense of a Pokemon that can still evolve. Wow, that's not going to be great on my team because everyone's already fully evolved, but I guess you can boost up unevolved Pokemon, which is pretty cool. I bet you that's a great item to have if you have a Pokemon like a Dragonair that evolves super late. But on my team, not going to matter too much. You know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and heal up Dunsparce real quick because it looks like we got a fighting guy, which might be a good battle for them. I can remember where my medicine is. There it is. And we've got plenty of hyper potions. Let's go ahead and use one just to top him back up, just so we can try to get him some more experience in this battle right here. Let's go... Bring it on, you crud! You are disturbing my serene meditation. Uh, I don't know what this guy is doing, just chilling on a random island in the middle of nowhere. But we've got Black Belt Tetsuo. He's got Empirola. This is going to be awesome for Dunsparce. And this is what I'm talking about, dude. Before we saw a Primeape, I think it was 42. This guy's also 42, so I don't know why that guy didn't evolve before. Maybe he's using an Eviolite, I don't know. He's gonna go for the Assurance, which doesn't do that much, actually. Dunsparce is a bit of a tank right here. Lots of HP on this guy, and we got the one shot, heck yeah. That might be enough to get us to 45 actually. It is, heck yeah. So Dunsparce is now up to 45. We've got a Filiger coming out, whatever the crud that is. I guess we're gonna go for Dexter just to try to get them some more experience. I believe Filiger is a normal type, but I can't remember. I, I might be able to get some psychic attacks in on here, but I'll probably just go for Surf. 
Yeah, this thing right here, I don't know what type it is. Oh, it's asleep though. What the crud? He's got the lazy ability, so he starts off by sleeping, I guess. I don't know if he's got sleep talk or anything like that. Uh, oh, but he's got a lumberry, so he cured it. I guess that's a pretty good answer to having a Pokemon with a bad effect like that. But there you go, we're gonna get that Surf action. Not quite enough to, uh, to two-shot it, but we'll go for the side beam. Oh, gosh dang it, why does everything have a dark attack? Faint attack and bite and all that crud. And of course we're slower, so we're gonna have to swap out here. And that is not super effective. I think they're pure normal type, but let's get the crud out of here. Uh, I guess let's go over to Trevor and try to get them some more experience here. I don't think Faint Attack's going to do a whole lot to Trevor, so hopefully they'll do that crud again, and we'll be able to take him down here. Let's check it out. Yep, just another Faint Attack, so we'll be fine. It is going to be neutral because uh, Dark is neutral to Steel, but I'm... Oh, gosh dang it! I do that all the time! Crud! But I'm pretty sure that we're going to go first. Uh, let's go for an Iron Head and just wreck this nerd. Come on. Yeah, we got him sick. So at least we'll get some experience for Dexter and Trevor. Dexter is up to 42. Awesome. And still not anywhere near 43 for Trevor. Oh, well. We're getting close to halfway at least. And I think they've got one more Pokemon, which is a Baryette. Oh my gosh. Should we do the mirror match? Oh, man. I don't have any fairy type, which is what would be great against that guy. Uh, I think Dunsparce would actually be not that bad. Let's, let's do Dunsparce. I think Skyfall will be pretty good against this guy. I could have done the mirror match, but... I don't know, I, I'm just not feeling that. I want to keep things nice and simple. How the crud? Wait, Baryette? Wait, what? No, that is the evolved form. Okay, I got confused for a second. I'm like, how the crud does he have a Baryette at 44? It doesn't evolve until 45. No, wait, wait, he does evolve at 44. Never mind, ignore me. Oh my gosh, look at that crud. Oh, but we get to paralyze again. I've been getting so lucky with those. That is going to hurt. Oh boy. Okay, we're, we're fine. I think Revenge gets double damage if we hurt him before he hurts us. But don't even worry about it. We're going to live. Thankfully, it was not very effective. It's kind of funny because before Dunsparce evolved, he was terrible against fighting type considering he was a normal type. But now he's a lot better. My concentration is broken. Oh, boy. Anyways, guys, we made some pretty good progress today. We got through the Labyrinth and we made our way through Route... I think this is 15. So next time we're going to come back, we'll finish off this route, hopefully find a new city, maybe do a gym battle or explore the city a whole bunch. You guys know how I do. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care!